Most investors focus on the potential for rapid price gains when they think about making money in investments. But to be a successful investor, you need to understand not just how much money you'll make, but the timing of when those returns are received. Money today is worth more than money tomorrow. I'll show you why and how it affects your rate of return coming up next. Investing is simple, right? Buy an asset, wait for a period of time, and sell it for more than you bought it for. But what should you invest in? As an investment advisor, one of the most common questions I received is for my opinion on gold and whether I thought it was a good investment. My answer was always simple. I don't think of gold as an investment. Instead, I think it's a great place to store value. The reason is with gold and other metals, the only way to profit is to hold it and wait for the value to increase. But ask yourself, what is the gold doing while you're waiting for its value to increase? It's just sitting there, right? Now, don't get me wrong, gold's value tends to increase over time and you can make a lot of money. This is the price of gold from 1987 through 2017. It's pretty impressive. Now compare that to real estate. This is the Case-Shiller Real Estate Index from 1987 through 2017. Real estate values tend to go up over time as well. Here's the difference. While our expectation is that both gold and real estate will appreciate in value over time, while we're waiting, the real estate is doing something else. It's generating rental income. See, there are two ways to profit from investments, capital appreciation and income. Successful investing is all about being able to compare different investment options. To do that, you need to understand where your profits are coming from, the timing of those profits, and how it all affects your rate of return. To understand what I'm talking about, let's take a look at a hypothetical situation. In investment option A, you invest $10,000 and hold for five years, then sell the asset for $15,000. You've made a $5,000 profit. In investment option B, you invest $10,000 and receive $1,000 per year in dividends for five years, then sell the asset for the same price that it was purchased, $10,000 you've made the same $5,000 profit. But are they the same? Remember, when you receive your profits is just as important as how much you receive. Here are the rates of return. Investment option A, 8.45%. Investment option B, 10%. Why the difference? The reason is something called time value of money. Imagine someone owes you a dollar. They give you a choice, take the dollar now or delay and get the dollar a year from now. While we're talking about the same dollar from a financial perspective, they are not equal. Delaying payment exposes you to the risk of not getting paid later, but it also causes you to lose out on the opportunity to make the dollar you receive now grow to a larger amount in the next year. Investment option B is a better choice because it gives you the ability to reinvest your cash flow from years one through four. By investing the cash flow at 6%, by the end of the fifth year, that $5,000 profit will be worth 5,975, increasing your total rate of return to 11.8%. The timing of your returns also affects your investment risk. Investment losses can be caused by several risk factors, including investment risk specific to your asset, changes in the overall market you're in, political or tax changes, or changes to the credit or interest rate environment, just to name a few. Every dollar you receive in the form of dividends, interest, or income brings you closer to a break-even point, lowering your risk exposure. Going back to the $10,000 example, investment A leaves you completely exposed to risk for the duration of your investment. With investment B, every rent payment brings you a little bit closer to your break-even point, reducing the amount that is at risk sooner. We all want assets that appreciate, but money today is worth more than money tomorrow. Never discount the value of dividends, interest, or rental income when deciding which investment to choose from. Please subscribe to my channel below. I'll be uploading new weekly videos covering financial planning and taxes. You can also visit smartzonefinance.com for articles on taxes, investing, insurance, and general financial planning.